This video is going to walk you through how to make a 3D hand using Animator. Okay? So to start, we're going to make a cube. So click on this tool, click somewhere in the middle, click, drag. All right, here's our cube. There we go. All right. I like to always start my builds in the front view, or at least usually depending on what it is, but usually in the front view. All right, now we're going to change it up a little bit. Uh, double click on it. Divisions are going to be four, four and one, and 40, 40, and 10. And if we change to this view, we can see the divisions. Use arc rotate, and we can kind of see what we have. All right. Now we need to go to build, convert to mesh. And now, now that it's mesh, we can change to wireframe view in point edit mode and edit some things. Now with this still selected right here, this point, this point tool, we can use drag select, select these points. Now I'm going to move to a side viewer. I'm going to choose left. And I'm, I'm going to use the right arrow key to change this curve. And now, just to show you, I'll go back to front view. What we're making now is the palm of the hand. And the curve we just made is kind of this curve right here. If I change views, I can probably show you. So made a curve. All right. Let's go back to front view. Okay. From here, I'm gonna go back to wireframe view. I guess it doesn't matter. I can go back to here. Uh, I'm gonna eventually select all these top faces, but first uh, I want to change the shape of the palm a little bit. And yes, I, I do want to go back to wireframe view, actually. I'm going to start selecting some different points and moving things around to where I think they look good. The first thing I'm going to change is this top part uh, shouldn't be flat because that's going to be where your knuckles are. And it's kind of curved. And also, if you keep it flat, the fingers we make will go up straight. And that makes it very difficult to bend them. Uh, with the warp modifier tool. So you want to have the fingers separate like this. To do that, you need to uh, change these faces, uh, change the angles. So uh, I'm going to start by just using drag select tool and the arrow key and going down. This one go down a little bit more. Curve this one this way. And that should be good enough for those. And I'm also going to curve the hand a little bit in different ways. Like uh, this is going to be the pinky side of the hand. May want to shrink that up. May want to shrink these a little as well. And I'm using the arrow key to move everything over. I just think it's easier. And I want to make a few more curves. Maybe I want to round it out and go like that. So just kind of, you, know, you can look at your own hand, and as you're looking at your hand, you can kind of decide what looks best. Okay, that's kind of the way I want it. I'm going to use the drag select tool, but I need to change to the, the face select right here. So if you click on that, and now uh, I'm also going to change the view so you can see the face a little bit. So when I drag select, what I just selected is all these top faces right here. And you can see that by when I rotate it. So I just selected all these faces. So now what I'm going to do is extrude those by using this tool. Now I'm just going to click. It doesn't matter where in the screen that I click, but if I click one, two, three, uh, it makes the fingers. Now obviously all my fingers uh, are not the same length on my hand, so I'm not going to want these the same length. I'm going to go back to wireframe view and make some adjustments. 
Let's start with the middle finger. I'm going to use drag select. Nope, I have face select still on. I don't want that. So I have the point select on. Try that again. And if you right click and drag select, you can add to the selection. Uh, so I'm going to go up, make this finger longer. And you can adjust the other lengths as well. You do this till you get to the, uh, your hand to somewhat where you, where you want it to be. And I'm going to make this ring finger a little bit longer. Keep in mind that your hand may be a different shape. Uh, you may have your pointer finger longer than your ring finger. So uh, you may want to make it look like your hand or you may not care. Uh, and these spots may not be the same depth either. So I'm going to look at mine and adjust mine accordingly. All right. Now the thumb is going to be over here, so I need to adjust this area a little bit too. You don't have to use the arrow key. You can select use the move tool move it where you want as well. You just kind of have to eyeball it and figure out where the thumb's going to go. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to have the thumb come out of here. To do that, I'm going to use arc rotate to rotate it slightly. And now I want to select the thumb. Oh, I, I had the move tool on, I had the selection tool on. Now that it's selected, I can show you. It's selected. I need to use the extrude tool again and click one, two, three. You can see it comes straight out, and I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to go back to wireframe view. And just start grabbing points. I'm going to move them up. I'm trying to rush here because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. I can tell it's already, already going to be kind of long as it is. So just kind of using kind of guess to being to figure out where I'm going to want, uh, want the thumb and how I'm going to curve it. And you still have plenty of time to fix little errors that you make. For instance, maybe this is too wide. And so I can adjust it slowly. And let's check it out so far. All right, here's my hand so far. And it's, it's going to be my right hand, so my fingernails are going to be facing out, which is one of the next things we're going to do. But first, let's add some color. So to add a color, we're going to select the full hand, so you're going to switch modes up to object edit mode. This way I can select the full object. Let's add some color. Some sort of skin color. That's pretty orangey. Alright. Click 
apply. There's my hand. A little bit tanner than my hand normally is, but that will work. Uh, I'm going to have some fingernails. To do that, I'm going to switch sides because we don't want to have the fingernails in the palm of the hand. So uh, I'm going to rotate it. Actually, let's go here and click back. And now in point edit mode with face select, oh, select tool. And to select these, I'm right clicking because if you just let left click, it'll just select one. Uh, I'm going to do one more thing. This thumb is going to have a really short, stubby nail, so I'm going to go back to the point tool. And let's go back to wireframe view. And move those. All right. Since I selected these and moved these, or moved these points, I need to go back and select the fingernails again. So, all right, let's go back and do that. Right click. Now I need to add some color by clicking on new. And that will work. Click OK. There we go. There's the fingernails. All right. Now we're going to smooth the hand out a little bit. So I'm going to go to. We need to select the hand. And to do that, let's go back to Object Edit Mode. Select the hand, build, and then subdivide faces. We'll do it one more time. And let's go to the smooth shaded view so you can see what our hand looks like so far. So not too bad. Looks like a hand, doesn't it? Okay. Rotate it around. You can see which side the palm is. Uh, but it's a pretty flat hand. We're going to add some curve to it. So, first, I want to uh, bend at least one or two fingers. So, let's go back to the front view, turn arc rotate off, and we're going to use the warp modifier tool. Clicking right here. So, I'm going to start it around the base of the middle finger. You know, what? I'm going to do the pointer finger over here. So, I'm going to click. Here, drag up. It's going to be a little bit too wide, but for right now, click Ben, click OK, and we're going to use this tool so it's not quite as wide. But first, we're going to rotate because right now, if we're going to bend this, I'll choose let's say 90 degrees. It's going to go off at the side, and we definitely don't want that. So let's go back. First, let's rotate it. So I'm going to click on the side of this tool, or I can click over the side. It doesn't matter. Click and then drag to the right and I didn't get it right where I wanted it so right now I'm going to go to the top view Let's see if we can center it a little bit better and let's go back to the front view again and not quite Okay, a little bit better. It's still too wide, so I'm going to change this tool or change the width of it. And you want to make sure it's not cutting over into the other finger. So use the move tool and maybe the arrow key. And after you get it where you think you want it, double check by going to the top view again. And, you can see, and then you can use arc rotate kind of say you want to make sure that it's getting the entire finger but it's not grabbing other things around it so let's go back to the front view turn arc rotate off and now with this selected with the warp modifier selected uh, we're going to go to the selection tool over here right click on the finger so now these, they're both selected we can go to build modifiers Find modifiers. Now when you double click on the warp modifier and add a bend to it like 90 or let's make it actually a little more. Let's make it 100. 100 degrees. It went the wrong way actually. And I can show you. See? Wrong way. Oops. My bad. Double click on it again. And if we put a negative sign in front of it, negative symbol, we can click 
okay again, and it bends in the other direction. Okay. Let's go back to the front view. Let's make one last curve or bend. Turn off arc rotate. Use the warp modifier again. Oh, we need to go to build. I forgot when you do finish the modifier. So go to modifiers and effect modifier. So now it's done. All right, go to the warp modifier again. Click over here. Drag. Uh, and we're going to want to rotate this one as well. But first, let's bend. Click OK. Uh, now let's rotate it by clicking and going up. All right. We're also going to change the width as well. So use this tool again. Clicking and pulling down. Actually, pulling to the right works better, I think. There we go. Move it a little bit. And now we made the warp modifier pretty huge, so we're not going to need to change the views to really make sure it works or not, because if you check it out, it's pretty big. Uh, so let's go back to front view. And now that it's selected, I can go to build, modifiers, bind modifier, double click on the warp modifier, and let's try like 70. I curve the right way this time. Let's double check. Cool. Cool. Looks good. So I'm going to go to build and modifier, then effect modifier. And that's kind of it. That's all I'm really going to do today. And you can do a lot more with it. You can bend more fingers. You can make a fist. You can make whatever kind of sign that you want. You can add jewelry to it if you wanted to. You can add a ring to it. Uh, but right now, we're going to call it about done. I'm going to do a couple more small things to it. One, I'm going to duplicate the hand real quick. So I'm going to go edit. First, thing I just, I'm going to select it. So I select the hand, edit. Copy, edit, paste. Use the move tool. You can see it's right over here. Then I'm going to rotate it. And let's paste it again. This time I'm going to rotate it so I can see the palm of the hand. The idea is, at least for my students who are doing this project right now, I want them to show me all angles of the hand uh, so I can see all sides of it. So here's kind of all sides of the hand so I can see it pretty well. And then now I want them to put their name on it like this. And then build, extrude, and let's change the view a little bit. All right. So if you're one of my students, I typically want you to turn in by uh, making it a JPEG. So render render image, and let's make it 800 by 600. There it is. Save your project and uh, turn it in, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.